you can see the uh, Corps' automated rendezvous system, uh, the crosshairs in this engineering view, uh, just about perfectly aligned with the docking target on the Rosviet module, just 10 meters separating the two spacecraft. Inside four meters, standing by for contact and capture. Parameter. All parameters are within the range. Normal. Rate is normal. Copy. We see a small misalignment, but again, everything is within the range. It's been compensated. The rate is normal. Standing by for contact. Uh, the target is almost at the center. Cross here is aligned. Uh, contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. Contact. Docking confirmed. Docking confirmed at 11.51 p.m. Central Time, 12.51 a.m. Eastern Time over Northeast Kazakhstan. 7.51. Copy. Again, docking confirmed at 11.51 p.m. Central Time, 12.51 a.m. Eastern Time as the Soyuz and the International Space Station. The probe is being extended, so everything is perfect. The International Space Station and the Soyuz flying 252 miles over northeast Kazakhstan at the time of contact and capture. The uh, Station is now in free drift. Uh, all thrusters are currently disabled uh, to enable the relative motion between the two vehicles to dampen out for the retraction of the forward docking probe. David, thank you very much. Malenchenko acknowledging uh, congratulations from flight controllers here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. So on the 37th anniversary of that famous handshake in space by Tom Stafford and Alexei Leonov during the Apollo-Soyuz mission, another union of crews takes place to continue that legacy.